Solar PV testing. What is it? How do we do it? And what's it for? We are basically looking for voltage, current, and we are doing insulation resistance testing, which insulation resistance is where we're checking the integrity of the circuit, um, which is the positive and negative circuit. Voltage, um, the panels have a voltage per panel, which is normally around 40 volts on the modules we're installing today, but you can find it on your data sheet. It will say VOC, voltage open circuit. Um, so let's assume it's 40 volts per panel and we've got 10 panels in a string. We would expect a voltage of around 400 volts um, because the voltage is a constant. It shouldn't ever really change unless obviously temperature would affect uh, a higher voltage or lower voltage. And then finally current. So current is the amps, which is the amount of power we're getting. And uh, because we're wired in series, we would expect that. I think the uh, current is around 13 amps. So on a good day, obviously the current is dependent on weather. We need to test it. There's various ways you can do it. The way we prefer, which is the easiest way, is we use a Seawood PV100. This is an older model. They do a PV150 and I think a PV200 now and so on. As you can see, we're connected positive and negative to our panels. We're connected using uh, this reference point, which goes up to the mounting of the panels. So this clips onto the framework. We are set, when, when we press the button, we're sending uh, 500 volts or 1,000 volts around the circuit, and we're looking for any of that voltage that's escaping. So by clipping to the mountain, we can see what voltage is escaping out of the circuit to the mountain, which will give us an insulation resistance result. So very simply, we've turned it on. You can see it's telling me straight away, I have got 424 volts, which tells me I've got 11 panels on that circuit because we know the VOCs are gonna be around 40 volts. Um, so this is probably coming in about 35 volts or something per panel. Um, we've got RPE, which is our um, phase earth, and we've got our voltage, and we've got our current ISC and we've got our resistance RISO down the bottom. So we're testing at 500 volts, so we hit the button. So greater than 199 is what we expect to see on our uh, resistance, so, so that's good because it's you want an infinity number, which would mean that no uh, resistance is in the circuit. The 425 volts is our voltage from our panels, which what we would expect to see, and we add about six amps on that circuit. So it's probably performing at half its efficiency, which is expected for the time of day and the forecast outside. But that's it, that's simple. And that's how we test for solar.